morning guys and welcome back to my channel so as you see by the title today is going to be a self-care day today is monday and i decided to take off of work and treat myself if this isn't something that you guys are doing please start doing it if you can i understand not everybody can take off work but for me i just feel like sometimes it's needed not just when i go on vacation not when i have something super big planned but just mental health days to take care of yourself get yourself right today is going to be filled with just pampering relaxation but i'm not going to overdo it to the point where i feel busy um so right now i'm going to go ahead and get a smoothie just to start off my day i just showered and freshened up gonna go get a smoothie and then i'm gonna go get an 80 minute massage usually i do the 50 minute today i'm doing 80 minutes so i'm gonna do the 80 minute massage at now massage in buckhead and then I'm gonna go to Sephora. I'm gonna pick up some new skincare um, just because I'm out of a lot of the stuff that I use. So I'm just gonna go there, browse, but I have to go get um, two skincare products that I know for sure that I need. And I also wanna get my nails done. So that'll be my day. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And yeah, thank you all so much for supporting my channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the car. Okay guys, I got my smoothie and my massage is in about 15 minutes. It's perfect. It's so perfect. So I get the um, vegan mango kale smoothie at Smoothie King, no almonds, um, add extra apple juice. It's so good. Um, it's just, it's like a, I don't know. It just makes me feel like I'm on vacation every time I drink it, but it's also really filling. So yeah, I have about 15 minutes to be at my appointment and it's about a five minute drive. So I'm just gonna drive there now and then just finish as much as my smoothie as possible so I can walk in right at um, 11.30. I may finish this in two minutes. All right guys, I made it to now massage and now I'm about to go have a relaxing time. And I'm so ready for this. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm done with my massage. I feel so relaxed. I've honestly just been sitting in my car just kind of like staring around. It was honestly so relaxing. I've just been sitting in my car kind of just <sighs> decompressing, rolling my shoulders. I could just feel so much tension in my shoulders. Um, and she just mentioned to keep the blood circulating um, just so it doesn't lock back up. But my self-care day is going well so far. I got my smoothie, I have my massage, and now I'm about to go to Target in Sephora. Target wasn't in the original plan, but I decided a part of me taking care of myself and making sure that I continue to do that and stay on track with the things that I wanna do is planning. And a lot of times, you know, I set goals in my head and I wanna accomplish things and then things happen and I just, forget or it just takes me forever to do things i'm a big procrastinator so i'm gonna go get me a planner but the planner is gonna be mainly about content planning um i always keep a planner that's just kind of like life in general trips that i have coming up tasks that i need to complete just random things but i really want to get a planner that's centered around content because one of my goals to finish out this year and next year is to really take content creating seriously um since i got out of college four years ago i've been working a nine to five and it's been amazing like 
I'm just I'm thankful that I have a job that I'm able to take care of myself and you know live where I want to live do things I want to do um, and that does take a lot of my time which is why I can't be like 100% with content creating but I really just decided if it's something that I really want to do I can do it so I definitely need to get organized which is why I'm about to go get me a content planner so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna be super quick in and out of Target and then I'm gonna go to Sephora and they're right by each other and then I'm gonna end my day off with nails and then I'm gonna go home so I will see y'all at Target when I get my planner Okay guys, so I decided on this planner. Um, I like how you can see the entire week at the same time and then you can have a section for projects. So all of the content that I'll be doing that week, I can just see it right at the top and then daily tasks to get that content done, any notes, big picture, home life, one thing for yourself. So I like that little touch there, but, and I like that it's black. This is what it looks like. This is how it looks on the outside. So I'm gonna go with this one. Okay guys, so I finished up at Target and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the planner um, that I got because I mean, I think it's really interesting. You guys can let me know how you feel about this. But I feel like sometimes when I'm constrained by dates, I get so overwhelmed that I just don't do anything so like if I'm looking at a planner you see the dates week by week and then you realize okay I didn't get any of these things done and I'll have to write the same exact thing in the next week because I didn't get it done and then sometimes you fall off of getting through your planner and then when you get to your plan back to your planner you have pages and pages that are missing and then you start a new page like that becomes very overwhelming for me so the planner that I got um, as y'all saw in the last clip it doesn't have any dates on it and it has perforated pages so I can rip the pages out when I'm done with it or if I don't want to see it and then if there's weeks that I skip there's not the dates already there to where I feel like oh God, like I skipped three weeks of doing content and now I have three pages that I can't fill so now there's a gap and then I'm starting over so I really like the planner so yeah I think self-care day is going well taking care of myself not being constrained by time but just trying to get through what I can get through but for right now I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna go to Sephora well this whole day has been treating myself but I'm gonna go to Sephora I have to get some skincare products but I'm gonna see what else there is I just checked my Sephora cart and I have stuff that's been sitting in that cart for weeks that I and I haven't been to Sephora in like a month that's new for me so I'm about to go see what goodies I can find I'll do like a little car haul for you guys before I get my nails done and then once I get my nails done I'm literally just gonna go home eat some lunch and then I'm going to read my book and I'm gonna watch Real Housewives of New York so today was all about taking care of myself and I'm really glad I did that so I'll see y'all at Sephora guys got the package hey guys I feel like this has just been a car vlog the entire time but I hope you guys are enjoying it but I left Sephora I got 
a couple goodies. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got before I run into the nail salon. The nail salon I usually go to, which is like the cheaper one, um, they're closed today. Who knew? So I came to Sugarcoat Midtown, which is a beautiful salon. Like I actually love going there. They're just a little bit more pricey. I usually go there when I get um, Gel X and I want to get designs. Um, but today I'm just doing a simple SNS manicure. Um, but I'm gonna run in there. They said I can walk in, so let me just do this quickly. But um, I told y'all I needed to get two skincare products. Um, so the first product was the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. I've been using this for years. I have not switched up. I love it. Um, it just, it's just like spa quality. Like I just love the way it feels on my face. It's not drying at all. And I just feel like it keeps my blemishes away. So I will continue to use this until I feel like it doesn't work. So that was the first thing. Um, the next skincare product is also a holy grail, but I've been off it for quite a while because I was trying to try different things, but I want to go back and it's the Polish Choice um, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I always buy the travel size. I don't know why. I think it's because I use such a little amount um, and a little goes a long way that I just buy the travel size. So I got this one. Love, 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 love this product. Um, next, let's see, let's do hair next and then makeup. Um, so next I got the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Um, I use dry shampoo, but usually I just use whatever my sister has. I've actually never purchased it myself. Um, and I wear my hair straight more than I wear it natural. So I definitely need this. So got the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Now let's move on to makeup. Um, usually when I go so long without going to Sephora, usually when I go back, I just have to re-up on things. So that's what I did and then I got two things that were like new products. Um, but the first thing is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I don't use this as like a finishing spray. I use it as like a mid spray. Um, and I use the Urban Decay All Nighter as like the last, but I like to use this in the middle of my makeup just in case like I start using a lot of powders and it may get dry. Um, so I like to use this for that. Um, next, I got a new beauty blender, nothing new. Mine is so old, I couldn't even tell you when I bought it. So I needed to get another one. And then the last two things are new products. Um, I got the Dior Rosy Glow Blush in Rosewood. I have the pink one, um, the 001. Everyone loves that blush. They came out with some new shades and I really wanted to try it. So I got this one, let me show y'all. I gotta put my camera down. Can y'all see this in this angle? Like, whoa. All right, so here's the shade. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty mauve shade, and I feel like this shade looks good on my skin complexion. Maybe not the skin complexion y'all are seeing right now, but when I put my foundation on and I have a little bit more color, I feel like these type of colors look really good on me. Um, so I got this color. I'm really excited to try it. Sometimes I feel like pinky shades can be a little bit too pink, so I like that this is more of like a rosy mauve color. So we'll see about this and I have a really nice liquid blush that I think will pair well with this as well so I'm excited to try this I'm actually gonna try it today I'm gonna film a TikTok so if y'all want to see how it looks on me soon that TikTok is probably already up and then the last thing guys is this refi lip blush lipstick colors lip colors in general lip products are tricky for me because i feel like i have big lips and so when i do things that are too glossy i just feel like it's just a little bit too big i don't really like the kind of like plumped lip look i just like the natural look of my lips um so i don't really do many products that enhance that um so i go for more liquid lips um that have kind of a velvety finish uh, so this product like when i swatched it it felt so great and moisturizing but not too glossy so i really wanted to try it i'm gonna show y'all the color but it's in the shade amber i feel like i'm gonna love this i'm gonna try it tonight and then i'll let y'all know my thoughts over on tiktok but let me show y'all the shade again all right guys so here is the shade now i know this looks super super dark but when i swatch it it does not look dark at all let me swatch it on my hand look at how pretty that is 
Like it's the perfect orangey nude shade. So I'm really, really excited about it. Obviously it looks so dark in the tube, but it's clearly not that dark. So I'm really excited to use this. So yeah guys, that was my Sephora haul. Now the very last thing on the agenda, it's 2.55. I think we started this morning off at like 10 something. So, I mean, it hasn't been that long. Like I definitely feel still energized. I don't feel like I've been busy. I'm about to go get my nails done and then I'm going home. guys nails are done I love them I just love a clean short set it's just so classy to me so yeah let's head home hey guys so I have made it back home I think I've had a successful self-care day. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me today for my self-care day. I definitely encourage y'all to do the same if you all are able to. I definitely feel like my mind was able to focus on myself today and not just work and everything else going on. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm about to chill and just enjoy. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel and I will see y'all next time.